Okie doke. So today, we're going to learn how to take apart a real force keyboard and harvest the parts. These are the parts that you'll need for a lot of the custom EC builds that are available. There are aftermarket parts, but they haven't proven to be as good as the official real force ones. I have two styles of boards just to show you how to take the shell apart. I recommend that you purchase this or you have some other sort of shim that's as thin as this. You can find this uh, for sale by itself on Amazon. You can also buy a kit from iFixit that includes one of these. If we were starting with a older style real force, shell is extremely easy to take off. It has no screws holding in place, it just has these tabs and then some clips in the back that you don't have to worry about. So it's pushing out and down, out and, and then you can just simply lift the top off. All right, so to remove the cable on a on an older real force, you have to remove the grounding cable. Then is the four pin connector, as simple as a real force R2. This one's a little bit more difficult. They have a uh, warranty seal. What you have are a set of clips in the back that you, are visible, and then you have a set of clips in the front that are not visible. It ha it's a clip, you wanna force that underneath the clip. Now the, now the iFixit Jimmy is between the clip and the shell and you wanna push it down in between. And then you get the next one, again, in, be in between the shell and down. It's nothing. Perseverance pays off. Okay, so now you have the back, the back dislodged. You can work on this front part of the shell. It has clips. You don't use force to remove these clips. Okay, so again, this Jimmy, you'll feel where the clips are. And I go right underneath that center of the clip. Here's the second clip. Here's the third clip. You want to be right in the center of it, down, up. Easier to remove the cable from an R2. It's just, it's a five pin connector. If you have a Leopold, you were, use this tool, I, you might as well get like a flathead screwdriver because it requires brute force. The corner one is extremely hard to get off first. I always go for this and then I hold it down and then I work on the corner and then I hold it down and I'm holding it down, holding everything down while I work on the next tab. These are essentially the same. Now that we've taken them out of the shell, keycap remover. You can remove the keycaps while it's still in the shell if you'd like. Okay, with all the keycaps off, it's time to start removing um, Time to start dissecting the rest of these parts. It might help to, to elevate this. We're just gonna remove all these screws here. The black screws are the ones that screw directly into the plate. I like to remove those first. The silver screws are the ones that contact the posts. With all the screws removed, make sure also, make sure you don't, you're not missing one because you're gonna be pulling the board apart. And it's a little bit sticky, so you're gonna have to apply a little bit of force. But if there's a screw there, you may end up thinking you may break, it, you know, so be very, very careful that there's no screws left. I'm pulling with a little bit of force here. We're going to harvest these domes and we're going to harvest the springs for later use. So I have all these conical springs. I'm 
Right now is is when you you take your safety glasses though. We're removing these stems. Let's just say you have a pen. That's my that's my favorite tool. You have these kind of two notches here that you align the pen with and then you push. What the housing removal requires is uh, a jimmy. And there are two clips. There's one here and there's one here. You need to work both of those. If you force it out, you could, you're liable to break them. And if you break them, then it's liable to cause binding issues for later down the road. So you are, so I'm on top of the tab and I'm pushing down. On top of the tab, pushing down. All right, we're gonna wrap things up with how to disassemble the other components. You have two use stabilizers. Those are just two thumbs on either side and you can just pop it right out. Assembling it, it takes the just the jimmy and you, you're popping the bar out of place. Then you have the slider and the housing. The space bar, you have these housings on either side. It's very similar to removing the housings. There, see that, that popped. Good. Now I go to the other side. Pop, okay. Now I pop it out. Uh, now to remove the stabilizer wire, we're gonna, we're gonna hold it in place up. Bingo. All right, guys. 